everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm going to describe DNA, genes, and chromosomes. You can see from this diagram, a nucleus is found in a cell, and cells are the building blocks of life. And nucleus contains genetic information. DNA, chromosome, and genes can be called as genetic information. If you take a microscope and if you expand inside the nucleus, you will find chromosome. Let me show you this with the diagram. So if I expand into the nucleus, we will find this structure and it is called chromosome. So this is chromosome. A small section on a chromosome is called a gene. If I zoom in, So this is the detailed structure of a gene and if I zoom in further the last structure that I will obtain is a DNA. So a gene can be called as a small section of a chromosome or it can be also called as a group of DNA. You can see that a group of DNA makes up a gene. Okay, a DNA contains genetic information. Or it can be called as information of inheritance. Which means it contains information of your parents, your grandparents and so on. The structure of the DNA is known as double helix. The reason why it's called double is because it has two strand and helix because it goes in a spiral shape and the double strands are held together by weak bonds. Let's focus into G. Like I mentioned before, gene can be defined as a group of DNA. Or gene can be defined in terms of chromosome. We can say gene is a small section of a chromosome. And it is the gene that provides specific characteristics. For example, our eye color, skin color, height so provides specific characteristics and that is very important genes provide specific characteristics gene can also be called as alleles alleles are different version of the same gene So for example, a gene for eye color can be brown or blue. So the brown and the blue are known as alleles, but they belong to the same genes, which is the eye color. I have talked about DNA and genes, and I would like to talk about chromosome now. You can see from this diagram that chromosome is made up of from genes. So genes make up chromosomes. Made up of genes. And if you take a human cell, the human cells contain 46 chromosomes. This 46 chromosome can be called as 23 pairs of chromosome. This 46 number of chromosome is found in every single cell in our body. So, all the body cells. But, except in gametes. What are gametes? Gametes are sperm or egg. A different name is 
sex cells. The number of chromosomes found in a sperm or egg is 23 chromosomes. So sperm contain 23 chromosomes, egg contain 23 chromosomes, and when they fuse together at fertilization, then it forms into 46 chromosomes. And the cell starts to divide, and as time passes, we start to grow. So each and every cells in our body contain 46 chromosomes. And since we are given equal number of chromosomes from our parents, we have half the characteristic of mother and half the characteristic of our father. Please note that there are different number of chromosomes in different number of species. For example, cat has 38 chromosomes in its normal body cells. So the gamete or the sex cells will contain 19 chromosomes. You just have to divide it by two to find the number of chromosomes in the gamete. Before I let you go, I would like to summarize that. If you're looking under the microscope, the largest part will be the cell, and then nucleus, then chromosome, gene, and then the smallest part will be the DNA. Thank you for watching Science Tutorial for you. If you find it helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.